very often we call the less is more. And for those women, and uh, we have a very good experience, and the gift those women have very low dose medication, such as clomiphene, and you can give this woman 25 milligram, milligram of clomiphene a day for five days, or give them 50 milligram of, of uh, clomiphene uh, for uh, five, 10 days. Those women re respond to this medication very well. Th those women, you may not even give uh, a single injections, and uh, you can produce uh, two to four uh, nice uh, oocytes. And uh, what, which is uh, oocytes, uh, uh, probably equal number for oocytes you be are created by the injected 600 gonadotropin a day and for 10 days. So those are $5,000 of medication costs you can be easily saved. But that also, even more importantly, from our experience, if this woman, if you're using much lower dose medication, the oocytes quality is much better. And those oocytes are much easier to perform a blastocyst. And those oocytes has new data, has a much higher chance of a results pregnancy. And in addition, uh, those I uh, talk about the uh, average level, and uh, as I said, uh, when the average level between 10 to 20, and in those uh, group of women, and I strongly discourage a uh, doctor to using higher dose of gonadal chopping because they are not responding very well. So as I said, uh, in those group of women, and you should be able to give a fairly low dose of clomiphene, sometimes give a fairly low dose of uh, lachazole, and if necessary, and you can wait and wait for a few days and to see if her FC level come down. So if her FC level come down between uh, uh, 10 to 20, and those patients, you may still able to give them fairly low dose of gonadal chopping, but not the 300 or 600 units a day. So for those women and the FC level above 20 or above 30, and those patients, you have to be careful. And uh, uh, those patients, you cannot give clomiphene, you cannot give lachesol. Obviously, you cannot give the gonadal chopping either. For those patients, you have to be very careful, and depends on if women still have a normal menstrual cycle. If she has a very regular menstrual cycle, you know those patients will be ovulating. So in this case, you can just follow up this patient with a natural cycle. Don't give any medication, and very often after a few days, and her average level come down. So when her average level come down, you can continue monitor this patient when her follicle reaches a big enough size, like a 17, 18 millimeter size and uh, she produced about uh, 200 to 300 uh, picogram of uh, estradiol. At this point, you can give uh, uh, GIH to trigger her ovulation, then you can do retrieval. And we have uh, excellent results of, with the natural cycle IVF for those patients with uh, diminished ovarian reserve. Mm -hmm.